Are you going to stand there in silence all day, or are you going to tell me what exactly it is you came here for? Yes and no. It is not, in fact, a busy time for me. However, it is one of the few occasions during which I have some time for myself. I was hoping to enjoy a cup of tea and a good book. So whatever you have to say, you'd better spit it out. You need help with something. Well, clearly. I take it, then, that Hanji is unavailable? They are concocting explosive chemical compounds. Of course they are. Moblet is with them, correct? Good. Then we might still have a roof over our heads by the end of the day. What exactly is it that you need help with? Oh, for the love of... I don't care if it's embarrassing to you. Out with it. I will not judge you any more or any less than I already do for whatever you are about to say. Just say it. What? Did I ask you to speak up, cadet? The words flew out of your mouth so fast I swear they could have punched me in the face. Slow down and repeat yourself. Oh, dear. No, no. What you said isn't a bad thing. This is simply a topic that I am rather ill-suited to give advice about. I didn't say I wouldn't help you. You seem rather confused and nervous about all of this. Is that observation correct? Then sit down, cadet. You aren't going anywhere. I said sit down. You are experiencing something confusing. Something very overwhelming for some. And when that happens, when you experience something of this nature, when you begin questioning things like this, it's best to talk to someone as soon as possible. And I don't see Hanji being available any time soon unless Moblet convinces them to stop blowing things apart. So, for better or worse, you're stuck with me for now. No, Cadet. As I said, I will not judge you any more or any less than I already do. And for something like this, there is certainly no reason for me to judge you any more than I already do. That is correct. I did tell you that this is not a bad thing. At least, not to anyone with half a brain. Yes, there are those who will say that this is a bad thing. That even questioning something like this is bad. Don't listen to them. I know. I know that they're very loud. But Hanji is creating giant explosions right outside the building right now. You are unflinching and unblinking each time they set off another explosion. You can learn to drown out their voices as well. Trust me. Yes. Yes, I do have experience with this sort of thing. Do not ask me that question again, cadet. I know. I know that you were simply curious. However, although I will be helping you through this as best as I can, I would like to keep my personal life just that. Personal. I do not share it with anyone, least of all you. Understood? Good. 
now. What exactly about yourself are you questioning? You believe that you might be questioning your sexuality or your gender identity. Maybe both. Then let's... Let's cover both, I suppose. What exactly caused this? This sudden questioning? Hanji was giving a lecture to you and the other cadets. About what exactly? All right, that is... That is more than enough, cadet. Yes. Yes, I believe I see where this is going. Hanji has been doing quite a lot of research for that lecture. Clearly it was for good reason, but I would prefer not to hear everything that they presented you with. Just give me the relevant details. I fail to see how that is a relevant detail, cadet. I see. Their brief mention of safety precautions then led to an hour-long tangent about different sexual orientations and gender identities. That would certainly explain this. So, I take it then, as they were explaining things, you began to wonder what exactly applied to you, is that correct? I suppose that's to be expected. We do give this lecture at this stage of development for a reason, after all. You're at an age where relationships may or may not begin to appeal to you, and certain developments might occur that might make you feel rather uncomfortable in your own skin. It's perfectly normal to begin questioning things after a lecture such as that. Tell me, did Hanji give you any resources about all of this. But what, cadet? I see. Yes, it is all rather confusing, isn't it? There are quite a few different terms, quite a few different things that seem to mean the same thing. It's all rather difficult to decipher, especially on your own. Is there anyone in your peer group who might also be questioning these things? Really? A few already seem to be certain of where they fall in this community. Then may I ask why exactly you chose to come to me for advice rather than discussing this with your fellow cadets? I... I find it rather difficult to dispute that statement. It is true that, based on my age, I am far more mature and experienced when it comes to things such as this. I can't say I've experienced everything that you might be experiencing now. I haven't questioned everything that you might be struggling with now. However, I do have some experience. And if it will truly make you feel more comfortable talking about all of this with me, my door is always open. I told you that I would not be discussing my personal life with you, Cadet. Did you simply forget that? But what? 
You want to know exactly what I have experience with so that you can better ask your questions. Very well, then. I have experience with questioning sexuality. In fact, in my youth, I was struggling with it quite a bit, just as you are now. And although it did take some time and a few unpleasant experiences, I did come to realize the label that I feel most comfortable applying to myself. That is something that I will not be disclosing with you, Cadet. However, based on my experience, I can at least offer you advice that will hopefully alleviate your need to experiment and rely on trial and error. I can't make any guarantees, but I would like to assist you in any way that I can. And if it keeps you from going down the wrong road, if it keeps you from having some of the experiences that I did, then I will count this as a success. And you should too. I would have hoped that you knew me better than that, Cadet. I would not be saying these things if I did not mean them. Granted, I do have a general dislike for discussing personal matters with others, specifically cadets like you, cadets who oftentimes can't keep their mouths shut about important information. However, knowing what I know about this, knowing how difficult it can be, I would hate to see you go through this alone, and I would certainly hate for you to discuss these things with Hanji, who will most certainly talk about it very loudly and very publicly. If this is something that you aren't ready to discuss openly yet, you do not want to discuss it with them. Yes. Yes, you may return to me with any other questions you might have after you do some research of your own. For now, I will leave you to do that, and I would hope that you would leave me alone long enough for me to read at least one chapter of my book. Can you do that? Very good. Be safe in your research, all right? Cross-reference what you can, and... Do come to me with any questions. It's very easy to be misled and misinformed, so just be mindful of that. You're dismissed, cadet.